Dwayne Johnson's success as a celebrity is a tale far different than several other actors, as he had established a very profitable niche before jumping to the silver screen with his wrestling career. Very few have the talent and patience to transition from one profession to the other, and for him, to accomplish this so seamlessly deserves a lot of credit. Johnson's secret to banking big is something he equates to hard work and discipline, which is hard to argue against, given how amazing his gradual climb to the top ranks of paid talent has been. Though he had a few bit parts in roles in the early 2000s, his first leading affair was for The Scorpion King, which featured the character he briefly appeared as in the successful horror franchise The Mummy Returns. For The Scorpion King, he netted five and a half million dollars, which is virtually unheard of for an actor's initial foray into headlining a film. His giant price tag was a result of the audience he had built up for years as a wrestler known as The Rock. The loyalty of his past fans paid off for Johnson literally when he scored $12 million for the 2003 movie The Rundown. This was a significant point in Johnson's career because it was from then on that over $5 million a picture became a benchmark for future roles. In fact, it has been over a decade since Johnson has earned less than this amount from a role. Even though the rundown did not light the box office on fire, what was an inferno was how much Johnson was raking in on a yearly basis. For Walking Tall, he earned $15 million, and for Hercules, he took home another $12 million. This was before he even entered into the Fast and the Furious franchise, which has dominated the movie landscape since 2001. Dwayne Johnson's first dip into the Fast and the Furious pool was in Fast Five, and with four previously successful movies in the series, it only helped him aid to get a larger bonus from the box office returns. As the character Hobbs, he took in millions of dollars in income, and the upcoming spin-off film, Hobbs and Shaw, co-starring Jason Statham, is rumored to have given him his biggest paycheck of all time, with whispers that it was around $18 million and change. With a net worth of $280 million, Johnson has mastered the American dream and averages almost three movies a year. His enormous demand by audiences was said to have gotten him at least $10 million for Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, which was a smash hit with fans and critics alike, and the studio having already greenlit a sequel. Johnson's career has been a tremendous blend of hard work and good fortune, mixing franchises with sequels and teaming up with hot talent such as Kevin Hart and Vin Diesel. Even when he is on his own, he is banking millions per role effortlessly. Want to see more interesting videos? Hit that subscribe button below and don't forget to like the video.